Hello beautiful people, so this is going to be a straightforward video. My name is Nara and welcome to my channel. So I'll be showing you how to make marquee number 16 for a sweet 16 birthday. For this, being a 4 feet, we would need 4 foam boards of 20 by 30 from the Dollar Tree. As you can see, have them laid out, peel off the stickers. And next, I will use my duct tape also from the Dollar Tree to put them together. Right, so I always get this from the Dollar Tree, uh, but you can also get this from Amazon. I've had people say they get some with very different colors, but I do recommend those from the Dollar Tree. They work just as good. So once that was done, I will go ahead and cut them. And the next step will be for me to play out my templates. And by the way, I do sell these templates on my Etsy store where you can purchase them. I have been selling these templates since 2021 but only recently opened up an Etsy store due to popular demand from you guys. So you can check them out there. I sell all sizes of both numbers and alphabet templates, okay? And do not forget to leave a 5 star review and show your girls some love. Alright guys, meanwhile let's carry on with our DIY for today. Okay, so I have my templates laid out. And they're all numbered so it's easy for you to lay them out so once this was laid out I will go ahead to duct tape the areas where the, um, the the pages meet together okay so you could use duct tape you could use clear tape for this that's up to you and up on previous videos um, how I did auto marking numbers and letters I had actually also used tacky glue directly on there okay so it's up to you which option you want to use for this Right, so now that all is um, taped up, I will go ahead to cut out my number using the exact my exacto knife. You could also use my cutlass electric cutter, which I have all linked down below in the description box on my Amazon storefront. Mind you, number six is the same as number nine, so I just had to show you that. So we're technically doing two numbers today, okay? So doing the uh, the corners or building the frame, I went ahead and cut out some of the foam boards five inches. Uh, for the wind and I will use these to actually create our frame so here I'm just folding through to make the curves but in previous videos as well which I have shown on my channel I have over 10 different videos on how to make market numbers and letters you can check them out down in the description box you can also use your exacto knife to score them so you can check out a video at the top of the screen right now on how you can do that that is where I did marking number two and I showed you step by step how you can actually make marking numbers and letters. So technically, the technique is basically the same. The idea is the same, uh, just different numbers. Okay, some numbers obviously harder than others, but once you get the gist of it, it is pretty easy. So every area where my foam board ends i use my duct tape to actually cover that up even though i have it hot glued i will go ahead and complete the rest of this just for just i do this well guys when you do go up to my etsy store and you make purchases and you have any inquiries or questions do not hesitate to shoot me an email or send me a message via etsy i am always in my inbox responding to all your questions or you could drop a question down here in the comment section and i'll be more than happy to answer you also if this is your first time watching any of my marquee numbers or marquee videos i do have a video where i answered a lot of questions from you guys i'll have that linked at the top of the screen right now you can actually check it out for marking number three and five i did answer some of your questions in that video so make sure to check it out all right so when you glue this together you want to take your time and hold it down until the glue actually dries up um, before you let go okay so i'll go ahead and complete this this is what it was looking like by the time i was done now I'll go ahead and use my duct tape in all the connecting areas on my marquee number. And there we go. So this is done, but not completely done. So with this having a round bottom, I did show in my marquee number three and five video how you can make this stand if you opt not to have it cut off at the bottom like so. So you could cut the bottom like that 
like I did also with my marking number 18 video I'll have that linked or you could use do the, uh, the option I just showed you in this video next up I'll be using these lights from Amazon this time around instead of the, the garden lights I'll be using these neon lights for a different touch and a different option and this is how I had it placed inside my market number it is very simple it's self adhesive and you just go ahead and put it in and that's basically what it looks like once I was done all right so this takes less time no poking of holes like I have done in my previous videos for market numbers and it's very suitable for a 16th birthday if you ask me and it will go for both boy and girl as you can choose whichever color you want to go with for market number one it is pretty easy and I have shown you how to make market number one before reason why I did not show you again in this video all right before we carry on word of the day today is sweet 16 so please do comment sweet 16 down below in the comment section and show your girls some love now let's put this to use all right guys so this is me at the venue now setting up for the sweet 16 so come with me let us set up this birthday and i will show you how i incorporated my marking number 16. So I'm here with my team and we're setting up for a sweet 16 birthday for my friend and we had opted to go with different shades of pink. Of course, it's a girl. I don't know. It's a thing for girls and pinks. So yes. And so uh, I went ahead and had the flower wall all set up, the backdrop set up, my husband helping out as well. Um, and we had all of my nieces as well, obviously. And this is me doing the centerpieces at the venue. I was to make, doing a mix of cherry blossoms and some pampas. So it was a different combination. I just wanted something different from the regular roses and hydrangeas. We already had roses on the flower wall. Okay, so uh, I think we were doing 15 centerpieces. So this kind of took a little while. Do not mind me having this on time lapse. It did take a little while, but yeah, we got it done. And next up, we're gonna go ahead and set up the rest of the space. As you can see, our decor is coming together. And at first, that is where I initially wanted to have the number 16 placed. I really liked it in front of the flower wall uh, without the lights on. However, when you turn on the lights, it kind of stole the show away from the flower wall, which I did not like personally. So I decided to change the position of our number 16. I would have left it there if we were not turning on the lights okay but turning on the lights of them um, in the market number 16 okay but on second thoughts i really wanted the lights on so i decided to move that away from there and just let the front be just a girl showing off <laughs> anyway so yeah okay so i'll go ahead and complete our setup putting on the plates and the glasses cutleries and everything else in between and then i will show you where i finally placed our marking number 16 for the rest of the day i guess you can already spot it so yes i decided to put it at that corner because they kind of lighted up the room this is our final look how everything came together lots of pink yes and i love it to be honest my camera is not doing this justice versus you actually being here physically and seeing how the whole setup came together. One thing to note here, this hall is not perfectly lighted up. I honestly love the space of the hall. It is spacious, but it's just there's just not enough natural light coming in. And even the artificial lighting in there is not as good. But this is the corner we decided to keep the marking number 16. So it's 10 by itself and it showcases itself by itself. So please do let me know what your thoughts are about this setup. I'd love to know your comments down below. It's summer and I just thought to let you know the different ways you can make your parties shine by making marking letters and numbers, okay? So do let me know what you come up with. I'd love to see your work. So you can DM me on Instagram or you can, you know, just send me an email. Meet my niece, Calix, playful Calix, 
well guys that will bring us to the end of this video today if you did enjoy this video please do not forget to hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you do not miss a thing in the meantime thank you for watching and have an amazing day